Leslie Hedlund just confirmed that Darth Plagueis is Chimere's master. Now, I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into this quote from Leslie and then talk about it at the end of the video. Here we go. Quote, we wanted to show Chimere's master. We weren't going to wait a second season for that. We wanted to wrap up the twin storyline. We were not going to leave everybody hanging. They've sat through all of this. and We want to reward people for watching. Now, I, as I'm sure yourself, have a lot of mixed feelings about these comments, so we're going to get right into talking about it, with the first point being, I think this is cool. Now, do I 100% agree with Darth Plagueis making an appearance in the Acolyte, especially how he did? No, but I do think that it has potential, and having Darth Plagueis be Chimere's master makes sense to a certain extent. Now, I think this makes sense because in Legends, Darth Plagueis had a handful of apprentices that he had working under him until he ultimately decided on Palpatine to be his second in command. So they are, in a sense, kind of bringing this to the current canon with having Chimere and now his sort of apprentice, Osha, being under this looming presence of Darth Plagueis. And of course, the two are eventually, I hope so, going to have to die in order for Palpatine to take the reins. And there is about 80 more years in order for this to happen, which is completely doable. Now, is this the route that a lot of fans thought that we were going to see Darth Plagueis appear in in live action? No but it is what we have for now. So far, it is not super promising, but I'm going to cross my fingers and hold out hope that they take some of the criticism from season one and apply it to season two and tell a better story, make us care about these characters, and make us care about Darth Plagueis and what he did in order to reach the point that we know him at in canon through the tellings of Palpatine. Now, about the comments themselves, I'm going to go over this quote one more time. Leslie says, We wanted to show Chimere's master. They weren't going to wait for a second season to do it. They wanted to wrap up the twin storyline and that they're not going to leave people hanging. Now, I don't know if this is set out for damage control, but these comments are actually some of the most intelligent things that I've heard anybody from the Acolyte cast say. And I say this because a lot of the Disney Plus shows, whether it be Star Wars or Marvel or whatever else, they leave a lot up to the imagination. Now, I did a whole rant on this in my previous video, which is my overall Acolyte thoughts. The last five minutes of the video is me just tearing into the current structure of Disney Plus shows, how they give a crazy budget, hundreds of millions of dollars, to a eight-episode series that only has... 30-minute episodes that feel like they go absolutely nowhere. We had the same issue with the Ahsoka series. As much as I liked it, we were left at the end with a lot more questions than we even had before we started the series. And in the Acolytes case, they did a better job at wrapping up a lot of that, and it sounds like a lot of that had to do with what Leslie is saying here. I liked in the finale, how they wrapped up the twin storyline in conflict, because I don't see how that could have gone on for another season, and it seems like they're now moving on to the dark side as a whole, and how Plagueis plays into all of this, and how Osha and Chimere kind of go off on their own separate journey. Which, again, I appreciate. I also appreciate how they at least gave a tease of it. A lot of people think it's a cheesy, shoddy, done cameo. While it may be, it is nice to know that there was something bigger at play, and it is a tease for a potential second season. And honestly, it was one of the better payoffs of the series, if you so choose to look at it that way. So these comments are honestly kind of valid in my eyes, and I do appreciate them not putting everybody on, you know, a leash and expecting them to just speculate until a potential season two that may or may not even happen. So in that case, that is something pretty good that they did, and these comments by Leslie, in my mind, help to justify that. But that is all I have to say about this topic. It is confirmed. Chimere, his master, is Darth Plagueis after all. I'm excited to see where this goes, if it goes anywhere at all in a potential season two, but I want to know what you guys have to say about all of this down in the comments below. I'm going to be responding to those over the next couple of days, and I'm excited to see what you have to say about this. And also, while you're at it, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see more content like this. 
Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.